millions of Somalis rely on remittances from abroad through companies like Duhab Shield as their basic lifeline. Barclays, however, says it is concerned that terrorists could as well be using the informal money transfer system. It is closing all 250 accounts it operated on behalf of Somali-run money transfer agencies. But among those who will be affected are students. Abdiaziz Sheikh studies medicine in Mogadishu. His family depends on remittances from Keen abroad for monthly expenses. For Abdiaziz, a court verdict against Dab Shil means dropout from university for him. I'm a medicine student. I have two more years of study, but I might find myself at home soon if Barclays wins the case. Abdi Aziz's family receives remittances from relatives in Britain, the first place to be affected if the court upholds Barclays position on remittances. Our money particularly comes from the UK, from my brothers and sisters there, so if remittances are affected, it severs our lifeline. President Mohamud said the lives of millions of innocent Somalis depended on the decision by the British court. Students like Abdi Aziz too have an appeal to the British court. Now I call on Barclays and the court to consider the innocent millions who will suffer if these remittances fail for even a single month. They should consider that our education will be affected. A global business, Dab Shield Bank provides cash transfer services to millions of Somalis through the informal Hawala transfer system. Mohamed Irmogi, CCTV, Mogadishu.